major leadership shakeup at the TSA. This as airports, airlines and passengers complain about those painfully long airport security wait times. Now the head of TSA security operations made $90,000 in bonuses paid to him in $10,000 increments and that was on top of his base salary. He received all that money despite the fact that he was in charge when TSA failed to detect fake explosives and weapons 95% of the time during covert testing. On top of that, as you know, airport security lines are not getting better. A prime example, Pamela, of Washington just not working. This shakeup happens just two weeks after members of Congress grilled the head of TSA, Peter Neffinger, about why Hogan was getting such a handsome salary and bonuses despite his poor performance. Uh, within this internal memo uh, that CNN obtained, we also learned that TSA plans on creating uh, this command center, which would in real time monitor airports and their wait times so that they can allocate resources as needed. So clearly they have heard the calls for them to do better. Pamela? And do we expect, Renee, in the, in the wake of this TSA official being out, more heads to roll and with all this controversy surrounding the long lines at the airports and so forth? Well, at this point, I think this is where we're going to start. We're going to start here and see, uh, you know, how things roll on from there. I mean, this command center uh, shows that they really are zero focused on getting those wait times down. Again, those, this command center would allow them to monitor in real time what those wait times are like at airports across the country that will be reported to this command center. And if they need to reallocate resources, they'll be able to do that. So uh, we're getting indications here uh, that they're trying to do what they can to cut down those lines. Of course, as I said, just two weeks ago, the head of TSA got quite a lashing from Congress. Mm -hmm. uh, so passengers are going to have to wait and see if this makes any difference.